witches. So today's video is going to be all about Samhain through the lens of the witch's new year. So I know there's like a really big push for people talking about ancestor work um, and like spirit work and all of this kind of stuff. And I, as a witch, don't really work with ancestors. It's not something that I've ever been called to do like specifically. I'm trying to get into it. It's really hard because I have a lot of like trauma there when it comes to like talking about my family and bloodlines and all of that because I'm just a hot mess. But um, I really see Samhain truly in my practice. Samhain is more the witch's new year aspect of the holiday. So that aspect of death and rebirth and um, like reinventing yourself basically. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so Samhain marks what I kind of call the waning phase of the year, which is all about rest and preparing to plant new seeds for the future at Yule, which I kind of see as like the new moon of the wheel of the year. Does that make sense? If we if we take the wheel of the year and we take the lunar phases and we kind of like line them up like this, for me personally, I see the summer solstice like a full moon where all of my, manifest, my manifestations are being like manifested or my intentions are being manifested. And I see Yule as the opposite where I'm doing more of the, okay, what do I want to get done in the next six months? Um, like, so I can have like a very fruitful spring and summer when I feel the most energetic. I hope that makes sense. Cause like for me, Yule, it's really dark outside. I don't really want to be doing a whole lot. Um, but I do know what I will want to do when it's nice and warm outside and I actually have energy again because I have seasonal depression. Well, I have like seasonal depression year round, but it's specifically bad during the winter. Anyways, um, Samhain is all about recognizing the end of that harvest season, that, that season of abundance. So the se season lasting between like spring and now basically, like um, the harvest season. Um, and we are preparing ourselves for the next one. As a witch, we start to recognize these cycles and these patterns that the earth goes through and that we go through with the earth. And when we attune ourselves to that, life becomes a little bit more easy to navigate because we have set intentions and set things that we do that match up with the energy of the season. Now, if you happen to be watching me from the Southern Hemisphere, a lot of what I'm saying probably doesn't apply to you because we are on different seasons. So um, for things that will work a little bit better towards like what you are experiencing right now, definitely check out my videos on Beltane and um, like Letha um, from earlier in the year because it's gonna like line up with a little bit more with probably what's happening um, energetically and with, in terms of the weather and the energy of the earth for you guys. So I do apologize for that, but come back in like six months and come see this. Uh, now and being the witch's new year, we are also recognizing the end of the harvest season um, and already preparing for the next. So we know what things worked for us this season, the harvest season, or like if we're using like crops as an allegory, I guess, like what crops flourished during this harvest season. And we know what to do for the next one. And we also know what not to do for that next period of like waxing abundance energy, right? Um, so anytime after like Imolk towards Beltane and stuff like that. So Samhain really is centered on the death of the harvest, the death of crops, but also the rebirth of us as humans. So we are kind of moving through that that barrier, that gate of death, essentially, to be reborn and to start working on ourselves, to better ourselves in the next abundant period um, next year in the spring. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, and that's really how I see Samhain as a holiday. Um, we remember the dead on Samhain, we grieve, but we also move forward. We keep their memory alive and we thank them for everything they did for us in life and in death. Um, but we also don't let, you know, pass the past weigh us down. We move forward and we are reborn. So it's not, I'm not saying forget people after they've gone, it's not what I'm saying. It's just like a, a moment of healing and moving forward. Um, it also is a really great time to recognize all the things we've grown in and like that we have grown since the spring and what we want to manifest in the upcoming season. So I think I've kind of said that before, but that's really like the main um, goal of the Witch's New Year is like the death of the harvest and the planning for the next one. For a lot of Wiccans, you might see um, people jumping over bonfires. Like this is a very symbolic way of jumping from the old year into the new year. Um, so a lot of that is done on Samhain. Um, if you are a witch, you can only practice indoors or maybe don't have a coven. Um, you can actually just like, you can step over a candle, which is what I plan to do um, to represent the coming of the new year or stepping into the new year, crossing that threshold and becoming the new and better or working towards becoming the new and improved version of myself in the next year. So yes, that's my little spiel about the Witch's New Year. Um, and that's why we do call it the New Year. I know it's not like 
physically the new year like in January I do celebrate Samhain as the witch's new year and then like in January on January 1st like the actual like calendar new year um but I think that the symbolic the symbology of like death and rebirth that are associated with Samhain the death of the harvest and the rebirth of oneself into this new kind of waning um period this like dark period of the of, of the year um with the intent to work on yourself and grow in that period of time is just really beautiful and that's something I really like um I'm so sorry about the sun oh my gosh I am such a vampire I like cannot like deal um but yes so anyways I'm gonna wrap this up before I get scorched and um I just really hope that you guys um you know take this into consideration with your Samhain rituals and kind of see this as like maybe an alternative to doing spirit work or ancestor work because I know not everyone resonates with that. So I will see you guys later. Bye!